Are you among the 80% of the world's population that relies on caffeine every day to get you through? Well, I recently gave the caffeine up and in today's video, I want to go over some of the pros and cons of caffeine consumption. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you my quick story, how I recently gave up caffeine, and then share with you some of the pros and cons of caffeine consumption. So I was starting to notice that I was having some strange things happening with my muscles. I was feeling more tense than normal. I was sweating more than normal, and my sleep was really being affected. So I decided to completely go off caffeine. Now I have done this before many times on and off caffeine throughout my life, but this time was a quite dramatic experience. Now, first I wanna preempt this by saying that I've never had coffee in my entire life. I tried it as a kid, hated it, never had it. So I've really only been a tea drinker. But as you know, tea has a lot of caffeine in as well, especially black tea. So for a while I was doing black tea recently and I was really starting to notice a lot of these symptoms, like I just said. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna try to go off caffeine again and see if I start to feel better. So I switched over to green green tea first. So I slowly wean my way off it, down to two cups of green tea a day, only in the morning, and then one cup a day, and then it went off it completely. And this took about a week or so. I thought I would be okay, but I was not okay. So the first three or four days were pretty brutal, especially day one and day two. I literally could not get up off of the couch. I had no energy, I had no concentration. I could not go to the bathroom. It was like a disaster. And now think about this, like I wasn't really consuming that much caffeine on a regular basis compared to say coffee drinkers but everyone is different and for me that amount of caffeine was having a significant however you want to call it effect on my on my health so uh, now I'm about day seven of no caffeine and uh, the benefits are starting to kick in now I don't have the same muscle tension I am not sweating all the time I'm starting to sleep better day by day so I'm starting to feel the benefits of not having it don't get me wrong there are some things about it that I miss but I'm gonna go the long run this time and see how far I can get so anyway let's get into the pros and cons obviously there are pros people are addicted to it they do it every day there must be a reason so some of the pros are alertness concentration mood it definitely you feel good when you're when you're on a coffee or tea caffeine definitely improves your mood function and then other people say athletic performance I, I noticed that myself it was easier to work out when I had caffeine in the morning much easier for that it even slightly increases your metabolism so there are benefits to it and not everybody is going to react negatively to caffeine either so now let's go to some of the cons because there are more than you might suspect so first of all cardiovascular issues so for some people having caffeine can increase their blood pressure and their heart rate and even cause heart palpitations so if you're prone to those kinds of things you may want to reconsider the amount of caffeine that you're having uh, uh, next, stomach issues, uh, gastrointestinal issues, especially with coffee. Coffee is very irritating to the lining of the stomach. So you might notice you have more heartburn from coffee and there's other ways that uh, these type of beverages interfere with the gastrointestinal tract. So if you're having GI issues, caffeine could be a contributor to that as well. Next is female issues. So uh, things like cysts, ovarian cysts, breast cysts, hot flashes, PMS, these are all amplified by having caffeine. So if you're suffering from any of those type of things, you may wanna reconsider not having caffeine at all. Also, nutrient deficiencies. So caffeine inhibits the absorption of some nutrients and it helps excrete nutrients quicker, like minerals. So you're gonna, it's kinda like a diuretic. So you're gonna excrete more minerals than normal on caffeinated beverages. So make sure that you're getting more minerals into your diet in other ways if you are a heavy caffeine consumer. And then also, these are very common. I'm sure you've heard this from people. Coffee or tea makes me anxious, makes me nervous, makes me irritable. So that's a very common side effect too. And insomnia, coffee or caffeine in general can really interfere with your sleep. So that's another thing you wanna consider because so many people nowadays have trouble sleeping. So really reconsider the caffeine for these reasons. Last but not least, and I think this is probably 
the most important reason because just about everyone has some degree of adrenal issues and stress in their life, right? Who doesn't have stress? Well, caffeine, caffeinated beverages increase your stress hormones when you drink them. So now you're starting to interfere with the adrenal issues, the adrenal function. The adrenals are very important for moderating so many things without your body. I have other videos on this subject. So if you want to learn more about the adrenals, please check that video out. But overall, your cortisol, your adrenaline all go up from caffeine and this can eventually really burn out and weaken your adrenals and make the stress and your ability to deal with stress even harder. So if stress is a big part of your life or you're very tired, actually you wouldn't know if you're tired if you're drinking coffee all the time, but what's your real energy like? Because drinking caffeine is a false energy. It's not a real energy. Keep that in mind as well. So in any case, I know most people are going to say, yeah, well, I'm going to drink it anyway. And they're not even going to want to watch this video because they're addicted to caffeine. But I wanted to give you guys some other info and some other, another side of the story, I should say, based on what I've just been through. So in any case, uh, if you like this video, please share this with someone who may need to know this information. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. And lastly, don't forget to smile. It's good for your health. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care.